Whoa, whoa, what do you mean that you're triggered? I mean that I wasn't able to get any sleep since last night. I was up all night trying to figure out who the real hypnotist of Oceana was, and what did I get instead of a full night's rest? I instead had to pull a full on all nighter. But what made you do research on this hypnotist? Wasn't he the most popular as everyone said? Of course he's the most popular. And yet, no one would believe me when I tell them that he literally goes to our school. Good grief. I thought that Serena told you never to stay up past your bedtime. You could really end up going crazy without sleep on the next day. Which is exactly why I called you in here. I wanted to know if you know how to calm a mermaid or anybody down when they're feeling upset. Of course I know how to do that, but I'm not allowed to tell you what it is. It's okay if you don't want to tell me what you're hiding. I'll just go to Serena's room and tell her that you are not helping me with my current problem. Hold on a second, relax. I don't want you to get angry at me. Let's just instead try to take some deep breaths, okay? Phew. Alright then. I was acting like such a barnacle head, um. I'm sorry for yelling at you for not helping me out. I know that you were just looking out for me. Now do you feel better? Yeah, sure. I guess that I do. Good, by the way. Now that you're feeling calmer than how you were earlier, can you do me a little favor? Of course you can, uh. What's the favor? I want you to relax, and look deep into my eyes. Wait a minute, that has got to be the most weirdest thing that you've ever said to me. Why on earth would you want me to look at you like that? Shh. Relax. Everything is going to be okay. Listen to my voice. And let me try to calm you down. Yes, master. I will obey your every command. When you go to sleep at night, you don't have to stay up too late. You'll be having some nice dreams than the nightmares that you've had after waking up. Okay, master. I promise not to stay up too late. I'll catch up on my studies tomorrow morning. When you wake up, you will know exactly who the actual hypnotist is. Oh my dog. So it is true. You are the hypnotist of Oceana. Yes, I am. Hmm, I wonder why we're both at the hospital this morning. Oh, um. Our mom said for me to take you to the doctors just to see Heidi Ferry in her nurse office for your appointment. Remember? Really? I don't think that I heard her say any of that. Well, it's a good thing that I told you what I was really planning to do. I mean, it's not like she'll be doing something else with you or anything like that. Um, I don't know about that. Something must be going on with you that I'm just not buying. You never said that she was going to give me weird injections or anything like that. Yeah, uh, I totally wanted to tell you that this is just your first time that you'd be getting a flu shot, but... You didn't know that vaccines could poison the human body, don't you? Of course that I knew that. But, you are not listening to everything I gotta tell you about your appointment. What is the reason with you trying to hide crap from me? I wanna know about it right now. Relax, Bunny. Everything is going to be okay. Now, why the heck are you doing that in here? You know that Serena strictly said not to use your hypnotic powers on me right in front of humans. Then what else do you expect for me to do to calm you down? I don't have a pocket watch or anything to swing at your face. Oh, I don't know. How about giving me a hug like you normally do? Oh, for dog's sake. Phew. Thank dog that I came back to our actual timeline so that I didn't screw up with time. Well, I'm just hoping that today is a better day than the crap storm that just happened to me yesterday. Hold up, why the heck are you in here this early in the morning? I'm just doing exactly what you told me to do, reprogram Matthew so that he doesn't go crazy and start brainwashing people just like how he did on our school play. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, Serena was the one who told you to do that crap, not me. Exactly. No wonder I was just as triggered as I am right now. I just don't get it. If he is needing to be reprogrammed why the heck couldn't he meditate like he used to do two or four years ago? I just don't understand why the frick she would even do this to me. I thought that I actually caught an actual break. Well, I got some good news for you. Mostly everyone on land is starting to wake up. How cool is that? 
after all of the work that y'all put into Fishstagram really paid off. I swear to dog right now, I wish that Serena isn't this crazy as she was three years ago. Hum, interesting. I'm just not sure how crazy she could be right now. Hold on, why would you ask that? Because I heard from Serena that Matt was doing just fine since this morning, and he probably doesn't need to be reprogrammed right now. Wow, I'm surprised that you and I haven't been in this car together. Um. I'm not sure if any of that is correct. I honestly feel like this is kinda an awkward experience for us to have as a teacher. Yeah, that's true. But you know what else was just as crazy? We don't normally hang out like we used to before the New World Order came into place. I know right? The way that humanity was acting before we all left land wasn't as smart as I thought they were. And I'm not really surprised, because their programming has gotten way too strong. I'm honestly gonna say it right now, what the heck has the world above ours come to? Well, apparently we'll be able to see what it'll become in the next seven years. Yup, and we'll possibly survive and graduate land before things up there get worse. But let's just be positive, who knows what'll happen if we don't stand up to what these demons are doing to the humans right now. Right on dude, I mean, we've got so many adventures to go on, and it's like we don't need anything else to deal with right now other than having the best moment of our lives. I agree with that man, I can totally agree. Wait a second, what is Jesus up to right now? I haven't seen him in months. He's been a little bit busy with whatever he's doing back at the school, but I'm pretty sure that he's at our house right now. Yay. Lumina, what the heck are you doing in there? I have no idea why the tail am I doing in here, but I'm pretty sure that Michael might have asked me to be in this stupid box. <laughs> oh crap. Looks like Serena found some popcorn in the movie theaters. Huh, that's weird. Usually she doesn't want the crap that they make in there for the humans who go here. Wow, look at little Miss Blue Haired Rabbit up in here complaining like there is such a darn issue. You know what makes me so mad about Serena? The fact that she's out me in charge of watching the kids in the movie theaters while you're working in the snack booth. This is just a bunch of bull crap. What? Why the frick are you even mad? Because I would have to wait until Halloween until I could see the new Catman movie, which is honestly kind of hard to wait for. And I'm just so gosh darn excited to see it with all of you guys. Ooh, I heard that it is gonna be like that horror movie called Deep Sea Carry. Except for the fact that it is gonna be the kind of movie that'll make you say that crap would hit the fan. Speaking of which, where the heck is she? Who knows? All I'm gonna say to you is this. Don't screw with Serena otherwise she'll beat you up, okay? Fine, whatever.